Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to discover how ionic compounds form a giant ionic lattice. You should then be able to use the idea of the giant ionic lattice to explain the properties of ionic compounds. Ok, in the last video we saw how ionic compounds form and we saw the reaction between sodium and chlorine. Now when we react sodium with chlorine we actually form a huge number of ions and these ions arrange themselves into a giant ionic lattice which I'm showing you here. Every ion in the lattice is attracted to every other oppositely charged ion and as we saw these are called electrostatic forces of attraction. Now ionic compounds have a number of physical properties in common and these can be explained by looking at the giant ionic lattice. The first key property is that ionic compounds have got very high melting and boiling points. That's because it takes a great deal of energy to overcome the strong electrostatic forces of attraction and this can only be achieved at high temperatures. Sodium chloride has a melting point of 801 degrees Celsius. Now the melting point of magnesium oxide is even higher at 2852 degrees Celsius and we can explain that by looking at the ions involved. The magnesium ion has a charge of 2 positive and the oxide ion has a charge of 2 negative. This means that these ions experience very strong electrostatic forces of attraction and these take a very large amount of energy to overcome. Ok, the second property of ionic compounds is that they tend to be soluble in polar solvents such as water. When we dissolve an ionic compound in water, which is a polar molecule, the water molecules surround the ions like this. This can overcome the electrostatic attraction between the ions and because of this, many ionic compounds can dissolve in polar solvents. Now if the charges on the ions increase, for example in the case of magnesium oxide, then solubility often decreases and that's because in this case the water molecules cannot overcome the electrostatic forces of attraction. Ok, the third property of ionic compounds is that they do not conduct electricity when they're solids and that's because the ions are locked in place by the electrostatic forces of attraction and because the ions cannot move from place to place they cannot carry a charge. Now if we melt an ionic solid or dissolve it in water then it can conduct electricity and that's because in these cases the ions are now free to move. In the next video we look at covalent bonding. <laughs>